Hi guys, it's Lorraine with Brand Name Closet. And for those of you who don't know me, I am a part-time reseller on eBay. Um, and I just do it from my house and have a good time with it. I love to go sourcing. And this video, I wanted to show you a variety of things that have sold for me recently and give you an idea of where you can source uh, the kinds of things you might want to list on eBay if you're a beginner and just kind of get a feel for what goes on and you can have your store go in one direction or you can do you know multiple different kinds of things I have a store and I sell pretty much anything that's not nailed down so uh, let's go through it real quick uh, and see what sold most recently. These are some Connemara Marble Salt and Pepper Shakers. I got these from an online estate sale that they didn't sell. All of their auctions start at $5 and these didn't sell. So I went back to the uh, auctioneer and asked her if I could just buy these for the $5. And she said, certainly. So... I paid five bucks and they sold for 20. That was a best offer that I took. <clears throat> so from salt and pepper shakers to books for kids. This is um, a lot of six kids books that I bought at Goodwill. I paid six dollars for them. So I didn't make a lot of profit on this and I did give free shipping to the buyer. So books for kids. This is my first ever find of a single stitch t-shirt. Uh, it makes it vintage. Uh, these single stitch shirts, meaning the hems and the arm hems are only a single stitch. And that's how you can tell, I guess, that it's vintage. I've never found one. This I found at a garage sale for a dollar. So I snapped it up because I like the tie dye and it sold for $35. Uh, I was getting offers on this shirt left and right too. So if you're out there looking and you see old t-shirts, see if they have a single stitch on the hem. And if they do, uh, it could be a very, very profitable item for you. <clears throat> this I bought at an online estate sale also. And I can't remember what I paid, but it was $14.99 sold, and the buyer paid shipping. And it's a copper uh, Gregorian footed basket. Uh, just, you know, not too big. It was a pretty neat looking piece of art, I say. And it was vintage. <clears throat> These are some hand puppets that I got for free. Uh, Melissa and Doug is the brand and it took a little while for them to sell but I did take a best offer of $13 and like I said it was free so this was a set of sheets a twin set of sheets I paid $5 this is in an actual estate sale kind of um, at the beginning of COVID so it was just me in the house and I worked out a deal for some vintage, you know, linens and five bucks I paid for each set that I had bought. So $21.99 plus shipping for that. <clears throat> and then we go into clothes. These are a brand I'd never heard of. They're called Royal Robins and they are outdoorsman pants. They were new with tags. I got them at a thrift store for $6. I bought probably 10 pairs of them. Uh, and this one sold within a day of me listing for $30 plus shipping. I still have more. I haven't had any more offers. There's only two of this style available, but I also have a bunch of other styles that I have to list. <clears throat> I love this. This is a Levi's brown suede jacket with a shearling inside. And this was at a garage sale and it she wanted $1 for it. So I couldn't pass it up. I got it. 
I've had it on sale for a while since the beginning of the year. And I just did not want to go down on the price. I ended up accepting an offer of $40. So uh, the person I got that loved it. <clears throat> this I just picked up a couple weeks ago. It's a um, audiobook, which I've never sold any before. And the only reason I got it was because they were free outside um, where I live. So I picked up a few of them. Um, and this one sold within a week, I guess, for $12.99 and free shipping. So it was all profit, not much, but I've never sold audiobooks. So it's good to know that, they'll, that they do sell. I think I've sold a couple of them already. Um... This is cool. Vintage Pretty Girl Brief Panty Girdles. This is um, a super vintage item. You can tell by the picture. Can't remember if it said what year it was made. But um, I paid a dollar for them. And this was at an estate sale not too long ago. I uh, paid a dollar. And it sold for 14 plus shipping. This is other vintage, another vintage item. I paid up for this. I think I paid $26, but they were brand new in the package, still with plastic on it, um, stainless steel uh, flatware by Echo Eterna. And I had never found a full set of flatware that has never been used. So I listed it high and then kind of went back and forth with a buyer. Um, and we ended up with $108.88. And she appreciated that. She's actually somewhere in Oregon dealing with all the fires right now. So I'm glad that it went to a good home and she really, really loved it. So <clears throat> you can kind of see how I'm jumping all over the page here. Like I said, I just pick up something kind of on a gut feeling. Sometimes I check and see what it's selling for on eBay. Um, and a lot of the times I just know that it's something that will sell. So I kind of go with my gut a lot of the time. Uh, this is a Flora Bella Raffia Straw Hat. Really cool. Got it at a garage sale for $5. And it sold for $20 plus shipping. This I just picked up a couple weeks ago at a garage sale for 50 cents. Starbucks mugs do sell. A lot of them sit around for a while. Uh, but this one was a cool one. It says San Francisco and it has the Golden Gate Bridge on it. And I live in Northern California, so um, these are pretty common around here. And for 50 cents, it sold for $19.99 plus shipping. And it was probably only listed for a week at the most. So you can look at coffee mugs too when you're out there. This was from an online estate sale. Um, I think I paid $6 for it. It's a really cool vintage wood twisted carved basket. Really, really pretty. Not huge, but really nice and it sold uh, for what I was asking, $19.99 plus shipping. This was from a local garage sale. It was brand new Banana Republic wide brown leather belt for women. It was a size small um, and they had 75 cents on it and I sold it for $18.99 plus shipping. Uh, this is a vintage Pendleton, 100% wool, men's plaid button-down shirt. Um, there was a li little bit of fading on the inside collar, but um, I'm trying to think where I got it. I can't remember, but I have a feeling it might have been from a, a bag sale that I had gone to. A few months ago but anyway so I took a best offer of 20 plus shipping okay vintage nylons I don't know what it is about them but they sell really well 
You can usually find them at estate sales. Um, and they're usually a dollar or 50 cents. And I say yes to vintage um, lingerie of any kind. Uh, this just happened to be an off-brand I'd never heard of, Axiom. And it was a peach color nylon, but it was in a large size. I picked it up for 50 cents, I think, or a dollar. And it sold pretty quick for $12.99, and I gave free shipping on that because it's really light. It doesn't cost that much to ship. <clears throat> These are really cute. Uh, I paid... Ten dollars for them. Um, it was new with tags. All of the seven dwarfs from um, Disney, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, uh, and got them at an estate sale. They were all new with tags, uh, and they sold for thirty two ninety nine plus shipping. These boots I picked up at a garage sale. I can't remember how much, but they were super cute. Um, there was no brand on them, which was kind of off weird. You know, I, I, there's usually a brand on everything, but, um, really cute in good condition, $17 plus shipping. This is a vintage Limoges France deviled egg serving tray from the 1900s, early 1900s, um, really good condition there was no cracks there was no crazing and i paid a dollar for it and sold it for 12.99 plus shipping really a beautiful beautiful piece these are um brass head horse hooks um got these at my online estate sale don't remember how much um probably not more than five dollars or so <clears throat> and they sold for a 20 plus shipping. Here's another random weird thing. I really wanted this incense burner at, from a, an online estate sale, so I bid on it. And I got that and already sold that burner for $20. But it came with all of these different incenses. Some were used, some weren't. Um... And I just lotted everything together over 300 pieces. And it sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Uh, this is a vintage Pendleton wool um, cabbie hat. Um, or a newsboy hat is what they used to call it in the old days. And I paid $8 for this at a barn sale. Somebody had a garage sale, but it was actually like she had a store set up in her barn. And uh, we talked and visited for quite a bit. And I kind of felt like I, I should have bought something from her. So I ended up paying $8 for this hat and sold it for $16.49 plus shipping. Here's another weird random thing, right? Cereal. Kellogg's Fruit Loops birthday cake flavor. <laughs> I told you I will I will try anything. This um I got this at Grocery Outlet and it was buy one for $1.99, get one free. So I paid two dollars for everything, and they just sat forever, forever, forever. And somebody sent me an offer of $6.99 because shipping was quite expensive for her. I think it was close to $20. It's, it's a lot of cereal. They were big boxes. They had to go out priority mail because of the weight. So, I don't know. I don't think I'll be buying any more uh, cereal or big items to ship because it costs a lot. Once you get over a pound, things start going up. But um, I made my money back. Not much. <laughs> These were from a church garage sale. I paid $4 for two boxes of these Pottery Barn drapery curtain rings. And so I paid $4 for two boxes and they sold for $40 plus shipping. Um, 
Pottery Barn, great brand. If you're looking for a brand to buy, Pottery Barn is a good one. And um, you can find curtains and linens and all kinds of stuff by them. So if you see it and the price is good, I always try and pick it up because I know that it resells. Oh, I just love this. Franklin Dictionary, Electronic Dictionary. And uh, it was new in the package. I won this at an online estate sale. I paid $19. And I took a best offer of $120 within a week of listing it. If you see these kinds of things that are new in the package, old stock is what we call it, um, look it up, scan, use your eBay app and scan it and find out what they're going for because sometimes you will find things that go for a lot of money. And I actually, when I went to pick this up from the auctioneer's place, she said, you got some good stuff and that that was going to be worth money. And I said, yeah, I know. I already looked it up. Um, when I'm doing online auctions, I'm able to look up the items and see what they're selling for. So that's why I was in on this auction until the very end because I really, really wanted to win it. And I did. Great profit there. Um, this is an antique 1920s wood pedestal bowl. bowl. Um, I got this at an estate sale last year and I paid $10 for it. And it took quite a while to sell. You would think it would sell fast, but it didn't. It's uh, It took a long time. So I'm going to say it took a year to sell. Uh, but I finally sold it for $39.99 plus shipping. Pants for women, plus size clothing for women sells well. These were a size 16 cut from the cloth. Stretch jeans. I got these from a garage sale for a dollar and they sold for 20 plus shipping. These I won again from the auctioneer, uh, online auction, and it was it's vintage Bohemian Czechoslovakian cobalt blue etched glass. It was a two piece set and I think I paid about seven dollars for it. And it, I took a best offer of 30 plus shipping. Beautiful, beautiful pieces. The pictures do not do these pieces justice. So look out for that kind of old stuff, you know. And you can stop what you're doing in the store or at the estate sale or at the garage sale and look it up on your phone and see if it's worth selling to you. And if you think that you can sell it, buy it. I say, you know... I like to make four times at least what I pay for something. So um, this is a good buy for me. Another estate sale uh, find. I paid a dollar. It was actually used. Um, well, I'm not going to say it was used. The bottle was opened, but... All of the fluid was still in there. So um, it's vintage and people love buying vintage perfumes, lotions, toiletries. So this sold for 14 plus shipping. And that was it. So the moral of the story here is you can pretty much sell anything on eBay if you do the research and make a good choice uh, of items. And you can tell that I sell anything from toiletries to vintage glass to clothing to toys to house goods, food, hats, incense, um, shoes, um, men's clothing, women's clothing, Trinkets, hats, um, books, jackets, linens, toys, anything really. There's so many things that you can find to sell on eBay. So open your mind, branch out, and 
just do some picking, even if it's little bits here and there. Start listing your items and see if they're going to sell. And if you're really not sure about something, look it up on the eBay app and see if anything has sold um, that's comparable to what you're looking at. I think that um, if you take your time and really just enjoy your outings, that that's going to be a great way for you to make some extra money on the side. And we're coming into fourth quarter now, so this is the busiest quarter of the year, which is October, November, and December. <clears throat> I have my boxes of holiday items that are going to get listed, and uh, let's just hope that we have a great fourth quarter. If you guys have any questions, just put them down in the comments and I'll take a peek at them, see if I can give you a good answer. But uh, that's it for me tonight. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys later. Peace.